this is Dana with Novels Live TV and today I have Yoshi Shiraki with me and you have done a pretty incredible book that's called My Body's Just For Me and it's for children and you wrote it with your mother Yes. And then you lucked out by marrying somebody who could do the illustrations. I lucked out big time. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a beautiful book on a very sensitive, very sensitive subject. And um, so why don't you tell us a little bit, you were telling me how this all started with your niece, yeah. Delaney. Yeah, basically seven years ago when my sister had her first child, and I haven't started yet, so Delaney was the first granddaughter to my mother. Um, my mom wanted to create a tool that would be sensitive enough and easy enough to um, introduce to a two or three year old about this particular topic, the prevention mm -hmm. of sexual abuse. Um, so she came to me and actually said, hey, can you help me create this book? And I said, sure, you know, write down on some paper what you're thinking. I'll come up with a, you know, some, some words and I'll have Yanilda, who's my wife, uh, create some illustrations. Okay. And we pretty much did this. Um, nothing more than printed paper from our printer and stapled it and that was our book. Uh -huh. um, basically through friends of the family, um, my mother's different friends, they started to see this piece of paper book and said, Eva, this needs to be for more than just Delaney. Um, uh -huh. And that's how it started to snowball into what it is today. Um, we kind of said, yeah, you know, that's a great idea. You know, we are making Delaney aware of this, but there are so many other children that need to be aware of it too. So that's how it kind of happened. And, and again, it is a very sensitive subject, and especially when you're talking two and three year old children. Yes. And how to go about doing that. And obviously, parents like this book. Yes. And, yes. and they like the way that you introduce and, and how you talk about this subject that's at the age level, that appropriateness. Right, exactly. That was the most difficult part is keeping this topic almost happy, if you can even well, imagine yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so being able to introduce it at such a young age, one of the reasons why we decided to make it for that age um, is a lot of statistics show that unfortunately this type of abuse happens at infancy. Um, as sick as that may sound. Yeah, it is. Yeah, um, it starts at infancy, um, but then they, the researchers also uh, show that most of the memory of children that have gone through this start to remember at about three. And so we said, well, we need to start educating them at three. Mm -hmm. And so that's yeah. how that idea came, came to on creating such a book for such a young age. And, and to be honest, actually what we wanted to do was just simply buy a book. My mom says, well, we got to go to Barnes and Nobles and buy yeah. a book, yeah. which we did and couldn't find anything of. And then that's when she says, well, let's just write our own. So that's how that happened. <laughs> that's pretty incredible. And, and it isn't paper. I mean, it's it's hard so that you do have little kids that can look at it and you don't have to worry about the pages being torn or anything like that. Exactly. It's beautiful. And then you've also got a website. Yes. Talk about that a little bit. We have a website, www.protectourangels. And what we wanted to do is create a website that goes hand in hand with this book. Mm -hmm. But the website's more to educate the parent, the yeah. adults. Um, there are ways that one can, there are signs that someone can look for. Mm -hmm. um, we were talking about that earlier. Exactly. Yeah. Um, there are things that uh, parents need to know if a child ever brings this up to them. Um, so basically it's more or less to help educate the parent. Um, they say that the best defense is a good offense. And that's true. Um, and in this particular case, it's to protect your children with knowledge and education. Um, mm -hmm. The more you can teach them, the sooner you can teach them, the more they're aware that this is obviously wrong, because uh, for many children, they don't even know it's wrong. That's the thing that scares yeah. me. Yeah. Ninety uh, percent of sexual abuse victims know their um, their offender, basically. Mm -hmm. So it's either an uncle, or uh, a father, or a brother. And so what ends up happening is these children are influenced by this individual that they actually care for, mm -hmm. um, and they're and told love and love. Yeah. yeah. And and so it becomes a terrible thing because they don't know, you know, they don't want to get them in trouble. Mm -hmm. They don't want to be in trouble. Uh, they stay quiet. And mm -hmm. that's the thing. So for many of these children, abuse can go on for years. Years and years. Yeah. yeah. And there's the trust factor as well. Exactly. I mean, they, they trust these perpetrators and they love them. And like you say, they don't want to get them in trouble. Exactly. But what happens as adults? Yes, absolutely. Basically, I mean, this ruins their life, mm -hmm. more or less. I've got a friend who's actually a therapist, um, and she says, it's amazing these teenagers that come in are just completely messed up because mm -hmm. of the years and years of this. Before they were finally old enough to say, whoa, 
this something's need, wrong. yeah something's majorly wrong mm -hmm. and I think too at, at this really young age they may have an uncomfortable feeling but not really know that it's it's wrong exactly and and that's natural to feel like okay there's something wrong something's not good here but not to recognize that this is really bad this is a bad thing absolutely you know interestingly enough in a statistic uh, in a study that they've done that that exact emotion creeps in at about the age of five mm -hmm. they're so innocent uh, as, as little children um, and, and about the age of five is where they start to go wait this stuff kind of feels bad this mm -hmm. kind of feels wrong prior to that they almost don't even know to think that this is bad mm -hmm. And that's what's scary. It, it's really, really scary. And I think you've tackled this subject in a very healthy manner and can help a lot of little children and parents help deal with this subject. Thank you. Thank you so much, Yoshi. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thanks. Our website is www.protectourangels.com.